Hey everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I'm going to do a look kind of inspired by the Kardashians with a couple of products that are inspired by the Kardashians too. So Primark released this nudes collection. I think it's really cool because it allows you to try Kardashian-esque products at a lot cheaper price. So let's get started with this look. So I'm using mostly Primark products today. I'm actually using the concealer that they have. I don't think that they have an eyeshadow primer, but do let me know if they do. And if you've tried it, let me know. Now they do have cream eyeshadows in this collection too. Now this shade isn't gonna work for the look that we're doing, but I just wanted to give it a go. And I actually found that it did give my shadow something to hold on to. So maybe I'll try some of the other ones. Now this is the Nudes eyeshadow palette in the collection. I'm gonna start off with the lightest medium shade brown. and just applying this with a blending brush in the crease of the eye. Blending over and back from the outer edge to the inner edge. I then took the highlighter shade and just applied this underneath the brow bone. Don't worry if you bring it down a little too far, you're gonna take a clean blending brush and just sweep this over and back where the highlight and the midtone meet. I'm then gonna take this gorgeous toasty brown shade and I'm just going to apply this on the outer edge of the eye, blending in. Unfortunately, this palette doesn't have a rich warm brown, it only has a cool one. So I had to apply this in the crease of my eye because I wanted to just stick to using this palette. Now, if you're recreating this look, I would actually swap out for a warmer brown because this is a little too cool. You're gonna apply this in the crease of the eye. Make sure to blend that over and back and also on the outer third of the eye as well. With that gorgeous toasty brown shade, we're going to apply this pretty much over everything we've applied just to add a little bit more warmth. I then went ahead and cut my crease and I only did the inner third. Over the top of that, you're going to apply a shimmer. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I think it's one of my absolute favorites in the world. It's a rose gold tone. It looks a little lighter on camera than it does in real life. Obsessed with it. With that gorgeous toasty brown shade, we're just going to apply that where those two shadows meet. So where the inner corner and the outer corner meet and also pretty much all over the lid. Liner is next. Just a very thin line is all I've done here and lots of mascara. I also applied Sosumi lashes. These are the Holly ones. They're really soft and feathery. And once I apply them, I also curl my eyelashes and I'm using the new eyelash curler that they have from this collection. It's gorgeous. Clean up any fallout that you might have. I just use a bit of the Primark cleanser. And for primer, I'm gonna use the Flormar primer. This is also, I believe, available in some Primark stores. Highlighter is next. I'm gonna use the Strobe Cream. And for foundation, I'm using My Perfect Match in the shade Toffee. I would recommend blending this out with a damp sponge. It makes such a difference. Going back in with that concealer that we used on the lid to highlight. Unfortunately, the Primark highlighting stick isn't light enough for my skin. So I had to use this instead. However, I did use this sponge that comes in the collection to blend it out. Now it's a little too dense. I feel like it needs to be a bit more spongy and soft to blend out concealer. I kind of got a little bit annoyed at it, but just wait because it does kind of work out in the end. I went ahead then and used the contour stick, very Kim Kardashian-esque, these products. And I applied the lighter shade of the contour wherever I usually contour. And then I buffed this out with the sponge. Now this is where the sponge redeems itself because it's great for smudging. It's not a blending sponge, it's a smudger, if that makes sense. So it kind of worked out for blending out the contour. Now for blending out the highlighter stick, I just used the brush. I actually kind of liked this highlighter. To set everything in place, I use the matching foundation powder and I just use this for setting my contour. So just underneath the cheekbones and along the forehead and jawline. Now it wouldn't be a Kardashian look without baking powder. I'm gonna use my favorite brush ever. Unfortunately, this isn't available in Primark. You can get it online though and in certain stores around Ireland. It's by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and it is the best brush for baking ever. While that baking powder is on, I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown shade and just apply this underneath the eyes. This is just gonna add a little bit of definition. Lots of mascara next. And then I brushed off that powder. Now for the lips, I use the Cappuccino Lip Liner by Rimmel, which I believe is available in some Primark stores. I then use one of the lipsticks from the Nudes collection and I was seriously impressed with this. Now it went on lighter than I thought, so I mixed it up a little bit with that cream stick just to give it a darker effect, but I really liked how it turned out. 
It's a little different to my usual makeup and it's a lot more of my makeup, but it costs a lot less. So I was pretty happy with it. Have you tried these products out? Will you try them out? Or have you stuff from the Kardashian range already? So you'd like to let me know about those as well because I'd love to hear about it. Should I get them or not? I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one.